In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to manage Windows features and roles on Server 2012. So I'm going to right click on the virtual machine. I'm going to click settings. And what we need to do first is mount the ISO that we use to install the operating system. So select storage, click on the disk drive here, and we'll click the drop down and we're going to select the WinBoo refresh. Okay. Now check the live CD slash DVD checkbox and click OK. All right. So now we want to show the virtual machine. So right click and do show. And I'm going to hit right control and F to bring it into full screen. All right, so we can see the message up there in the top right saying the disk is mounted. And we can verify it by opening Windows Explorer and we can see the disk right there. So now we'll close that. And now what we can do is we can either click here, add roles and features, or we can click manage add roles and features. Doesn't matter which one you click. Okay, so it's just a little welcome screen. All right, we're going to do a role based or feature based installation. Okay, so click next. And this is a server pool. We only have one server on, on this network. Um, so we're just going to click test serve 2012, whatever you named your server. We'll click next. And here we can add in any of these features. Now I recommend that you go through and just add different features and see what they do. Try to learn how to work with them. I teach an entire course on Active Directory Domain Services. There's a lot that goes into each of these little uh, check boxes here. It's not like you don't just check a box, click next, and then you're done. There's a lot that goes into it. So, uh, but you can definitely learn about it. Like if you Google setting up a DNS server, uh, you'll come up with different tutorials and, and different things where you can learn how to set this stuff up. Uh, so what we're going to add is we're going to go to the very bottom and we're going to choose Windows Server Essentials Experience. Okay. The only reason we're picking this is so that you can understand how you add roles and features. So it's going to pop up and it's going to say that if you want to add this role, you need to add these amount of features. So these features are all, or this, I'm sorry, this role is dependent on all of these features. So we'll click the add features button. So automatically add those features. We'll click next and at this point we can go ahead and choose additional features if we want them but we don't so we'll just click next okay we're going to select next again keep clicking next you can read these screens if you're interested and then here's more role services just click next now on this confirmation screen we need to specify the disk that we mounted the server 2012 installation disk so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type or i'm going to click on specify an alternate source path Okay, and this is where we can type in or we can enter the alternate source path. Basically what we're doing, the installation files for these roles and features are not stored on the server. They're stored on the installation disk. So open Windows Explorer, right click on this thing, I'm sorry, right click on the CD and click open and we'll go to sources and SXS. Okay, now this is the path that we need to specify. So right click up here in the navigation bar and right click say copy. And we can close this window. We're done with it. And right here in this path, we're going to right click and say paste. Click OK. All right. So now we're ready to install it. So we'll click install. All right. So the feature is done installing. So I'm going to click on close. And we see up here we have notifications. Let's click on this notification. And it's asking us to do the post deployment configuration. So let's go ahead and click configure Windows Server Essentials. So here we can type in a company name, and I'm just going to type in uh, IT Flea. That's the name of my website. And we will just go ahead and click Next. So now I'm going to make an administrator account name, and I'm just going to use Paul H. And I'll just make up the password here. All right. Click Configure. So now it's going to prepare our server. So we're going to let this run. And then once it's complete, we'll check back. All right. So the post deployment configuration is complete. I had to reboot the workstation and now I'm just going to log back in. And first thing I want you to notice is that before administrator says it flea, and that's the name of our domain. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the account. All right. Now I'm going to open server manager and you can see we have the little, uh, the dashboard for windows server essentials on the desktop. You can open that if you're interested. And we have these new tools here on the side. And if we click up here on tools, we have different tools like Active Directory using computer sites and services and so forth. Uh, so I'll just pop open Active Directory using computers. This is a, a major technology that you want to get your, hand, your head wrapped around. You want to understand how to use this. You can right click, make a new user account, and then log into it. Uh, I have another course that goes 
pretty deep into Active Directory. Uh, so you can check that out if you're interested. Uh, of course, group policy management is another major technology that you need to understand how to use. Uh, so you can right click on your domain and create GPOs and do different, like change the desktop background, um, change, you know, different various settings on the computer. So, yep, that's it. Um, last thing that I might want to show you is if you want to remove a feature, you click manage and click remove roles and features. Click next, select next because we're changing this local server. And then under server roles, what you do is just uncheck the box and you'd select remove features and it would go through the uninstall process you'd have to reboot and pretty much repeat the exact same steps that you chose before so i'll click cancel cancel and that is how you manage features and roles on windows server 2012. i'll see you in the next lecture